fellow students Vellore Institute of Technology conducts an entrance exam known as VIT Triple E every year to shortlist the students for admission to engineering courses Through the exam the candidates who qualify for the exam will be eligible for admission to all the campuses of VIT The candidates who are interested in appearing for the exam will have to apply for the exam through the official website However, it is important for the candidates to go through the VIT Triple E eligibility criteria before applying. Only the candidates who fulfill all the eligibility requirements will be eligible to appear for the exam. In today's video, we will cover the detailed VIT Triple E eligibility criteria, including important points. So let's begin. First, let us look at nationality eligibility criteria for VIT Triple E. In order to be eligible for VIT Triple E, the applicant should be a resident or non-resident Indian national or PIO. If foreign candidates want to apply for VIT Triple E, they'll have to apply directly through foreign category only. Now let us look at age limit criteria. The candidate who want to apply for VIT Triple E must not be more than 22 years in age as of current year of application. The date of birth that has been recorded in the high school or SSC or 10 certificate will be considered authentic and the candidates will have to produce all these certificates in original as well as photocopy as a proof of their age at the time of admission. If the candidate fail to do so, they will be disqualified. Now let us look at what is the qualifying examination eligibility criteria for VIT Triple E. The candidates who wish to apply for VIT Triple E must have passed 10 plus 2 from any recognized board, be it CBSC, ICSC, or any state level board, or the candidate must have passed intermediate or two year pre university examination conducted by a recognized board or university, or the candidate should have cleared high school certificate examination of the Cambridge University or International Baccalaureate Diploma of the International Baccalaureate Office Geneva or the candidate must have obtained General Certificate Education Exam that is from London or Cambridge or Sri Lanka at the Advanced A level. As per the VIT norms, regular NIOS board candidates are also eligible for VIT Triple E. Such candidates will have to produce the migration come transfer certificate at the time of joining. Note that the candidates will also have to submit the marks secured in physics, chemistry, mathematics, English and the total subjects and upload the scanned copy of mark list and other relevant documents whenever available on the application form. Now let us look at how much marks is required in qualifying examination in order to be eligible for VIT Triple E? The candidates who belong to general category must have secured a minimum aggregate of 60% in physics, chemistry and mathematics or biology in the qualifying examination. For reserved category candidates such as SC, ST and others, the candidates must have secured a minimum aggregate of 50% in physics, chemistry and mathematics or biology in the qualifying examination. Now let us look at subject eligibility for VIT Triple E in the qualifying examination. The candidates must have studied mathematics or physics or chemistry in their 12th or higher secondary board. If not that, the candidates must have studied biology in place of mathematics along with physics and chemistry in class 12. That's all for today. Thank you. We hope that this video will help you in getting the complete overview of VIT Triple E eligibility. If you still have any query, you can ask me the same through the link that is visible on your screen. Also, do not forget to check the video description for other important articles related to VIT Triple E. For more updates on VIT Triple E and other exams, stay tuned to College Deco. If you like this video, do like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.